what is up everyone as you can obviously tell from the uh, if you can if the video looks a little bit like less quality is because of the fact that like normally i like to do my videos when the sun is out uh but like it's a little gray outside so you can obviously tell there's no shine in the background and i'm not but also the weather is sort of like matching my mood a little bit because i am feeling indeed a little bit gray a little bit bummed out a little bit sad like like uh i I'm getting calls from the electric company that I didn't pay a bill that I'm pretty sure that I paid. I'm pretty sure I paid that bill that day. I paid that bill. I know I paid that bill. But apparently, they're saying I didn't pay that bill. So, and I have no money now. So, it's like, I, I, I got to wait till Friday to pay that bill. So, I don't know when they're going to, I don't know when they're going to take my, when, when they're going to take my lights down. But if they do, just know that I am, I'm really depressed about it. I'm depressed because of the fact that I'm basically being punished for being poor. Like, I work. You know what I'm saying? I work. I, I have money. I, I work. I have access to money, but I don't get paid enough. So now I got to suffer because I don't have any money. Like, I really don't like the fact that in America, being poor is worthy of punishment. It's like, you know, it's, it's like, you know, like the oppression that the poor, the oppression that the low income earners have in this nation is just ridiculous, man. Like, it's just, it's just wild to me. Especially because, like, every job is important. Every job should be able to pay a reasonable amount of money so that a person can survive. And it's, like, there's people who I know who are currently getting paid, like, $9 an hour. $9 an hour. Still. In 2024. $9 an hour. It's wild. It's wild. It's wild. <sighs> I'm trying my best to, like, you know, I'm in a financial bind right now and I don't like asking people for money so I'm just going to be in a financial bind until I actually until I pay until I um, until Friday and because I'm in a financial bind my brain is immediately going straight into political mode because like I know why this stuff is happening every bad thing that's happening right now is because of Republicans it's because of right wing people it's because of right wing people with power and I hate them and I, I feel bad saying that I hate them because I don't want to I don't want to hate anyone but like I'm hyper frustrated at the power that these guys have. These guys have so much, so much power. You know what I'm saying? And it's like they're willing to shoot themselves if it means shooting everybody else. They're willing to hurt themselves if it means hurting everybody else. I just wish these people had no more power. And I'm just really frustrated about that because I'm, I'm trying so hard, bro. Like I'm working. I have a job. I'm working, I have a job. Well, get a better job, which is stupid, which is a stupid way to approach this scenario, which is like, get a better job, shut up. <sighs> but yeah, like I said, money is uh, money's tight, almost non-existent right now. And I'm just trying to, I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do. And that's the problem. The problem is that like, everything is too expensive. I'm not getting paid enough. and. And it's like, I'm trying to get a better job and it's, it's the challenge of it. So yeah, there's a, there's that, like, like I said, my brain is going into politics mode. I'm about to probably go on yet another rant about Republicans and how terrible they are, but we already know at this point. Uh, I'm just saying people, people who should only suffer because of what bad stuff that they do. Being poor is not a bad thing. You know what I mean? Being poor is not like, shouldn't be a crime. And the fact that it is, is kind of sick. Being poor isn't a crime. Be poor. Just be poor. Don't have any money. Have zero dollars and zero cents. And have no job too. Tell me how far you get. Um, and also, if you do just happen to get pretty far, show a brother how because... I need I I I'm, I'm trying to I need a life that revol that involves having no money. You know what I'm saying? That's what I need. I need to find an alternative form of life that involves having no money because money is just is a tool for oppression now. Once you assign value to something, then you once you assign like stuff like value and worth to something, then you can basically say the worthless aren't allowed to have the stuff that has worth. In in a country that's racist as heck. I'm worthless. So, you know, if you can give me an alternative, if I can like be provided with an alternative way to live that involves not having to use money, please help me out because I'm broke. 
because I just got done paying all my bills and now I got more bills to pay and I don't know how much longer I'm going to have lights in this apartment that I have no furniture in. So, yeah. That's what I'm willing to ask for. Ask for, uh, you know, you know, like, tell me how to live life without having to spend another dollar. Uh, moving along, though. Yeah, with politics, though. Like, seriously, I like, people are still going to vote for the guy who's quoting the bad guy from World War II. Like, why? Terrible. 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 Imagine going from, my granddaddy actually beat those guys up in World War II to, well, I mean, he's better than the other guy, so, I mean... Is he's not that bad. So, yeah. I got a gig for a voice acting that I hope that I get. I'm going to try to do that. I'm going to try to send a recording out for that. I don't know how to use the the uh the audio the audio software, but I'm going to try to like figure that out. Try to do some voice acting and try to get back into trying to do voice acting again. Maybe that could be my side hustle if I get a job, if I get something. I hate the phrase get a job, by the way. Let me just go ahead and say that too, by the way. I hate the phrase get a job because it makes it sound like getting a job is up to the person who wants the job when it's not. It's not up to the person who wants the job to get the job. It's up to the job to want that person who wants the job. You know what I'm saying? The, the responsibility, the the whole, the that's it feels like gaslighting when people say, actually, no, like, you got to go out there and you got to get that job. Like, no, bro. Like, if if I could just walk into a place and be like, I work here now. Here's my here's my address. You know what I'm saying? Here's my address where you can start mailing my checks. Here's my, you know what I'm saying? If I could just walk into any place and do that, if I could just do that, yo, I'd be loaded right now. Are you serious? But it's not. All I can do is say, hey, can I work here? And the person can be like, either yes or no. And if they say no, suddenly is like the, the weirdest thing is like suddenly it's my fault that they said no. The person who was not even in the interview is going to be like, what did you do? And then you tell them what you did and they'll be like, well, you did that incorrectly. You weren't even there. Yeah, but after you told me, I could just lied to you, bro. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, I, I hate the phrase "get a job." I hate, I hate this. I, I hate the responsibility gaslighting thing that we do, where we basically make it seem like some, like we, we basically like we, we hold the wrong people accountable for certain things in America. I notice, like the the amount of gaslighting that it takes to be like an American is the stuff. The amount of gaslighting that it takes to be like an American or to be a Republican or to just just be a person living in America. It's just ridiculous. Like for like you know, we, we always talk about how people should be held accountable, but we don't hold the people who should be held accountable accountable. Rich people, Republicans, business CEOs. You know what I'm saying? These are the people who should be held accountable for every bad thing that happens in the nation right now. But instead, you got people basically saying, "No, it's the poor people who spend wage, who spend like uh, my tax money on on their drugs and their expensive food." It's like. You know who else buys drugs and expensive food? Rich people. Rich people. Rich people spend money on drugs and expensive food. And you give them money. Have you ever walked into a Dollar General before? There's people who work at that place who work in ridiculously bad conditions. Because the people who are in charge of the place, the rich people who are in charge of that place, don't do anything to help out their workers. If a job, if a person has a job and still has to at, at, still has to beg for money money just to pay for like regular bills, then the poor person is not responsible for any bad thing that happens in the country. My tax dollars shouldn't go to poor people. I agree. I agree. If tax dollars shouldn't go to poor people, rich people's money should. The people who profit off of the pain of their workers. And I feel like we don't talk enough about that. You know, we don't we don't talk enough about another thing we don't talk about that I'm just now thinking about is why is it that Donald Trump tried to corrupt the Electoral College? He's currently getting in trouble for trying to corrupt the Electoral College. And there's no talks about getting rid of the Electoral College. Why do we have it? Why do we have it? Well, if he ain't got it, then California is going to start depicting on. Uh, the determining who's going to become like the electorate. If you get rid of the electoral college, then every vote, even the Republican votes, 
in California would be more relevant. Because not everybody in California votes Democratic. Not everybody who votes in one state votes the same way. You're just dumb. I'm from Louisiana. Louisiana has been a red state for as long as I can remember. I would never vote for a Republican. Why? Because I'm black. I'm not trying to get. I'm not. I'm not voting for people who would have lynched me in the '60s. Are you out of your mind? I'm just frustrated, man. I'm frustrated. But I did tell myself from the beginning, like in the middle of last year, that I was going to start thinking more positively because thinking positively is kind of. You know, thinking positively and working towards the stuff that I was trying to do is ultimately what led to my circumstances now. And even though I am under this crushing weight of debt and owing money and owing so much more money and owing money and owing money and owing money, I still have a place to live. I still have alternative options. I still have things sort of going into my favor. So I got to start thinking more positively. I still have a place to live. I'm still literally down the street from the wrestling training facility that I got into this state to be a part of in the first place. I still have a plan B. I still have some people who's willing to help me in my time of need, uh, not financially, but at least residentially. Like, you know, if I, if I, I'm, I, I won't be homeless. I won't be completely homeless. That's the one good thing. You know what I'm saying? That's the one good thing is I won't be completely homeless. Because I do have, like, you know, I have old roommates who I'm still on good terms with, who I could probably crash at their place. And I still have, you know, my parents back home. You know what I'm saying? I'm not in a, I'm not in a deep, I mean, I'm in a pit, but I'm not in a deep pit. It's just, I just need to pay attention or at least try to focus a little bit harder on what I can do to just make things better. You know what I'm saying? Things are not going Things are not going completely terrible. I still have a job. I still have a job. That's something. And, you know, that's something to look forward to. Things are going to get better for me. I just have to just, I, I, I got to hold on to hope. I got to. I've been looking down at the pit for a long time. And, and, and looking down at the pit, I've always told myself, this is my future. It's just further down. But instead of looking down, I'm going to start looking up. If, if things can go bad, things can also go good. And I need to start saying that more. Things will get better. Things will happen. Things will work in my favor. I just, I just, I just needed to. I mean, that's part one. Now i got to work towards it, right? It's like, well, yeah, well, you can't just think positively. You have to work towards the good stuff, too. And I did. I, I am. I'm, I'm working now. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get views on my YouTube. Man. Okay. Let's do it. Things will look up. Things will go right. Love and peace, y'all. Be easy.